My administration is now requiring federal workers to be vaccinated. We've also required federal contractors to be vaccinated. If you have a contract with the federal government working for the federal government, you have to be vaccinated. We're requiring active duty military to be vaccinated. We're making sure healthcare workers are vaccinated because if you seek care at a healthcare facility, you should have the certainty that the pro people providing that care are protected from COVID and cannot spread it to you. The Labor Department is going to shortly issue an emergency rule, which I asked for several weeks ago, and they're going through the process, to require all employees with more than 100 people, whether they work for the federal government or not, this is within the, uh, in the purview of the Labor Department, to ensure their workers are fully vaccinated or face testing at least once a week. In total, this Labor Department vaccination requirement will cover 100 million Americans, about two-thirds of all the people who work in America. And here's the deal. These requirements are already proving that they work. Starting in July, when I announced the first vaccination requirement for the federal government, about 95 million eligible Americans were unvaccinated. This was mentioned a little bit earlier. Today, we've reduced that number to 67 eligible Americans who aren't vaccinated. And today, we released a new report outlining effective vaccination requirements that are already proving their, their worth. This report shows three things. First, vaccination requirements result in more people getting vaccinated. In the past few weeks, as more and more organizations have implemented their own requirements, they've seen their vaccination rates rise dramatically. For example, the Department of Defense has gone from 67 percent of active duty forces being vaccinated to 97 percent as of tomorrow. Vaccination just six weeks into this vaccination requirement. That's how quickly it's moved. We're also seeing this at colleges and universities across the country. More than 95 percent of students at colleges and universities like Northwestern and University of Illinois, Chicago, are vaccinated. And we're going to see it in health systems around the country as well. Rush University Medical Center here in Chicago has gone from 72 percent to more than 95 percent of its employees fully vaccinated under its requirements. These requirements work. And as the Business Roundtable and others told me when I announced the first requirement, that encouraged businesses to feel they could come in and demand the same thing of their employees. More people are getting vaccinated. More lives are being saved. Let's be clear. When you see headlines and reports of mass firings and hundreds of people losing their jobs, look at the bigger story. I've spoken with Scott Kirby, CEO of United Airlines, who's here today. United went from 59 percent of their employees to 99 percent of their employees in less than two months after implementing the requirement, 99 percent. And by the way, Scott, I want you to know I've instructed the Justice Department to make sure that we deal with the violence on aircraft coming from those people who are taking issues. We're going to deal with that. In the last days of their implementation, they cut the remaining number of employees left to get vaccinated in half. They went from 67,000 United employees to 66 of 67,000, 66,800 complied. People chose to get vaccinated. That's why we're seeing more companies signing up.